Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 28th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last two, two days of imagery on our sun, as we've seen a couple more M-class solar flares since last night's update. And as well, watching some interesting plasma filaments. Big rip there on the northwest region. And we'll see that here on the imagery showing crusting into view. Large plasma filament, the equatorial region spinning around. And then watch this plasma filament snap there. Looking at outgoing images here. Amazing stuff. So grateful to have you along. Thank you for watching tonight. Subscribing and being a part of this community. Another closer look here at that plasma filament eruption, creating a huge arc of plasma off the surface of the sun, stretching probably 50 Earths tall. As well, active region in the southeast, plasma filament, and then just in the last few images here, watching some activity at the sunspot Earth facing region. Showing multi spectrum here, coronal holes. And as well, watching these active 12 sunspot regions. Plasma filaments on all corners of our sun right now. The dynamics of our sun are changing. Another look at our sun here, 171 angstroms. All of these images provided by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Again, thank you for watching. 12 sunspots right now. Have a look at these sunspot regions in motion. You can see the X flare from the southern sunspot regions and as well the M class solar flares coming in. Big sunspot region right there. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts as well. Level 2, S2, moderate solar radiation storm impacts. That was from the most recent CME that was expected to arrive today, and it did. Solar winds upwards of 524 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing here a strong M-class solar flare. Solar proton flux up into the S2 range. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP5 this morning. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center, this is showing their updated spiral with the uncoupled two CMEs and the expected arrival date, which was today and into tomorrow. There's another look at the ISWA Space Prediction CME from that most recent event. And then here is the most recent CME taking off backside of the sun towards Mercury. Having a look here at the elevated X-ray flux showing the highest frequency areas that were affected today from the M-class solar flare and long duration solar radiation storm we're going through. Tonight's aurora forecast and tomorrow. Bigger chance tonight than tomorrow night across Canada. Now let's have a look at Alaska 2 showing all the cosmic energy leaving our sun. Big CME there. And as well, sun diving comet. And look at all these photons and protons coming right at us. We've probably got another solar storm on its way. So stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide as we do give daily updates on all space weather events, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Amazing images here brought to you by Soho and NASA. Now let's get to earthquakes across the world. We had a pretty deep earthquake today in the Fiji region, 481 kilometer depth. 
and then fours 4.2 ranging to 4.7 right from Papua New Guinea stretching up into the Philippines and then into the Burma plate no major significant earthquakes to report today it's pretty quiet Chignik Alaska 4.1 earthquake in a 3.7 west of there and then activity across the United States Lompoc California 3.6 it's the largest across North American soil today. 4.7 here. Costa Rica still seeing aftershocks after the sizable earthquake last week. And Guaca, Colombia reporting a 4.4. Seismicity continues. Puerto Rico. Quiet across Europe in the African plate, African plate right now. Let's have a glance at the last seven days for shakers and movers. Across the world. Significant uptick in earthquakes through Puerto Rico and Central Americas. And up into the Pacific Northwest of the United States. It's all of a sudden gone quiet through Alaska. Expecting something big here, folks. Heads up. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast showing sulfur dioxide emissions forecast as we did have a large eruption at Popopocatetl in Mexico. Big plume seen there and debris being seen on satellite imagery. Multiple eruptive volcanoes, eastern Russia as well. Overlooking Africa, South America, still very large plume and continuous coming out of Near Marigira, near Marigongo, the two active volcanoes in Central Africa. And then our most active volcanic area on the planet, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, into New Caledonia. No major new eruptions to report today. Now let's have a look at our world weather here. Low pressure systems bringing rain, high pressure bringing dry air. We do have a very strong low pressure system that will be affecting Taiwan. Most likely, maybe a Category 2 when it makes landfall. Other than that, no major storms to report across Australia, Southeast Asia. We're looking at United States and Canada. Big high pressure ridge moving in. Stormy conditions ahead of it for eastern Ontario and then very warm. And a large, aggressive low pressure system will be moving in. For the weekend through Halloween, high pressure ridge moves in after that again, but then watch the cold temperatures and snow will be flying all across Canada and the United States by November 6th. Could see some pretty intense weather for Vegas and central United States. And then look at these systems heading into Alaska for the long range. Boy, oh boy, the snow is going to pile up. Let's have a look at our snow forecast here for the next 10 days. Areas seeing snow as far south as Albuquerque, New Mexico, and maybe even parts of northern Arizona. Parts of Alaska here will be receiving upwards of 300 centimeters of snow over the next 10 days with these multiple low pressure systems coming through. These storms are getting stronger. They're getting vicious. And now coming from the north, they're starting to get cold and bring a lot of snow. Even to parts of Eastern Europe, Eastern and Northeast. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.